Hi, welcome back. I hope you had a wonderful week and you're ready for another meeting this week. We will be talking about uh, professional development or as it's usually called PD and um, how to choose the best um, events there or what type of events there is and uh, everything PD. So grab your coffee or tea. Come in. The meeting is about to start. I now declare the meeting open. So today, as I said, we are talking about PD or professional development. And obviously, uh, it's quite straightforward. I think um, we need to choose the, the, the best options for us and for our business. I think that is um, common sense. And uh, if you are right there, you must be thinking, yeah, right. <laughs> Everyone knows that. Yeah, we, I know that. But Sometimes, uh, and because uh, associations like, for example, Nati, um, count uh, PD, and PD is one of the ways um, your association um, evaluates your uh, commitment through the professional, um, you know, uh, your commitment to, to the professional, rather. Uh, your um, work, your continue, continuing work and things like that. Sometimes we are a little bit carried away with the PD events that we attend to and sometimes um, they may not really uh, do us any good. Um, first of all, um, professional development, in my opinion, is something very important. I think it is important for every profession. It's not just for translators or interpreters or any any um, any freelance uh, job but for any other professions and as a matter of fact a lot of companies do know this and they invest uh, money into their employees professional development sometimes there's uh, subsidies that they provide to employees or they pay for um, short courses or they uh, old webinars within the company and things like that, which I think is very important because um, if you have a business and if you enable your employees to grow into the business, you're not only thinking about your employees and their careers, but you mainly thinking about your business and the way those employees will be able to grow your business as well, because they will have the best knowledge they will know how to do their job the best way possible and therefore they'll get results for you, for your company. For us, and if we just work by ourselves, like it's for example my case, you uh, are the business and you are the employee of your business. You are the owner and the employee. And therefore, everything that is put into the business, obviously it's put into you. And professional development is a huge part of that. I strongly agree with this. Um, but we need to choose the best uh, things. And professional development, and in my view, does not only relate to your profession directly. For example, let's take translators as an example, since we are talking about translation. If you are a translator, of course, if there is a webinar or short course or any uh, other event related to the industry, either about ethics or about a new technique uh, in the industry, for example, um, new ways of uh, pricing our services, things like that. Of course, those are very important because it will help you run your business. It will help you do your job better. However, Sometimes there is activities, short courses or even longer courses that may not be directly related to translation in our case, but I still consider them professional development and Nati certainly does too. For example, if you um, are doing or if you want to do a small course or a, a webinar to learn something that will help you improve your business, either your marketing plan, your website, um, 
anything, even getting a new specialization, for example, that is professional development because you are working actively into growing your business and becoming a better professional. And that is professional development. For example, I remember when I did my course for, uh, you know, uh, my WordPress course to be able to build up my website in WordPress, I consider that um, PD and I um, actually um, submitted that course uh, as PD to Naughty and they obviously accept, accepted because they recognized that I was working actively to my professional development, to growing my business, getting more clients and obviously uh, getting my clients to know about me and my services. So that was obviously considered PD. For example, even if you are later in your career and you uh, uh, have, um, you know, become a mentor, you, you uh, sign up for a mentorship program like Ozit has a very good one. Uh, or if you um, create a course like I did, like the course that I have uh, at Udemy, um, that is also professional development because you are contributing to the industry and you're helping other colleagues to achieve their goals. So everything that you do that enables you to grow professionally or help uh, the industry or engage with the industry is professional development. So you, sh you should choose the best options according to what you want to do. For example, all the events that are in your language pair, in your specialization, for example, that uh, ethics, about ethics, about new regulations. Sometimes uh, countries change regulations in regarding to, let's say, uh, certified translation. I know Australia is very strict with this um, and uh, the government uh, regularly sends uh, new uh, guidelines for translators in regards to certified translation in Australia. I know that when Naughty uh, did all the restructuring and the new certification uh, program came into place, the government has changed their guidelines and the uh, accredited translators are no longer accepted and we, the certified translators with the square stamp, are the ones preferred by the government. So all of these if there is a PD event about this, this is obviously important. For example, if you do certified translation like I do. Um, and then obviously the networking events, which I think they are very important. And this, this is important in so many ways. First of all, if you have the opportunity of meeting other colleagues, you can exchange ideas. Maybe you can see that they may be navigating through the same issues that you are uh, currently navigating through and you both may may have um, a discussion about it and may come with an outcome that is good for both and obviously discuss with other colleagues and come up with an outcome for everyone. But networking is not only among translators sometimes and it is a very good thing for your marketing plan if you know about networking events in the industry of your specialization, you can attend those and maybe you can uh, network with clients, which is very important. So think about that. All of this is professional development. All of this will help you um, achieve your goals and get the best outcomes for your career. And that's all for today. I now declare the meeting closed. I hope this was very uh, good and it was a, a little bit of a clue about um, what PD is and what um, should you do to in order to choose the best options for you and for your business. But, you know, if you have any questions, if you have um, any uh, experiences that you would like to share, please do. Um, I'm always uh, happy to read your comments and obviously respond all your queries. Um, also, uh, I've already said, I've got a new course at Udemy. Uh, if you want to start a, a business and become a translator like myself, 
please, that is a great course for you. It teaches you all the good things to have a, a good start from choosing um, a good qualification that will enable to have the best start through uh, building your business plan, your marketing plan, building your website, everything, all these aspects of um, building a translation business. So when you start, you already have everything organized for you and you will have the best start possible. So if you are interested, please, I'll leave the link below. Um, have a click on the link and join my course and um, I hope you have the best start for your career as well. Before I go, I would like to tell you to put a like on the video, you know, the whole story, the algorithm, YouTube, and subscribe the channel with a little click on the bell so you get a notification of a meeting every week. Before I go, I would like to thank you all for watching. See you next week. Thank you very much. Bye.